Bill Gates' name is one of the few redacted names revealed in relation with the late convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Bill Gates is in huge trouble because of Jeffrey Epstein documents. The names of 90 former allies, employees, friends and victims of Epstein were made public on Wednesday after being unsealed in compliance with a lawsuit filed by Virginia Juffer, an alleged trafficking victim of Epstein's former partner, British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Bill Clinton, Donald Trump Prince Andrew, Leonardo DiCaprio, Naomi Campbell, Kate Blanchett, Cameron Diaz, David Copperfield, Al Gore, Stephen Hawking, Kevin Spacey, and Bruce Willis are among those on the first list. The inclusion of Bill Gates' name on the list has not been confirmed. However, four of the 90 identities are still obscured, leading to speculation about who those persons are. Based on previous admissions and comments made by his ex-wife, Melinda French Gates, the wealthy co-founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, 68, has been hypothesized to be one of the censored names. On May 3, 2022, Bill Gates presents his new book How to Prevent the Next Pandemic at the 92E in New York City. Following the release of a list of individuals affiliated with the late financier, Gates' previous association with Jeffrey Epstein has been called into doubt. Bill Gates' Relationship with Jeffrey Epstein Bill Gates told the Wall Street Journal in 2019 regarding his contact with Epstein. I had no commercial relationship or friendship with him. According to interviews with more than a dozen persons acquainted with the relationship, as well as documents reviewed, Gates met with Epstein on many occasions beginning in 2011, including at least three times at Epstein's Manhattan townhouse, once staying late into the night. Employees of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation were also said to have visited Epstein's residence, and Epstein discussed a planned multi-billion dollar charitable fund with the Foundation and J.P. Morgan Chase, which might have been a financial windfall for the convicted sex offender. His lifestyle is extremely odd and kind of intriguing, albeit it would not work for me, Gates said in an email to colleagues following his first encounter with Epstein in 2011. At the time, a Foundation representative denied the Epstein-Gates connection, claiming the email mentioned Epstein's townhouse and associates, but was in no way intended to indicate a feeling of interest or acceptance of Epstein's lifestyle. According to the Wall Street Journal, Epstein threatened Gates via email and hinted at revealing an alleged relationship he had with Russian bridge player Mila Antonova in 2017. The danger was tied to Gates' alleged disinterest in the nonprofit foundation. Mr. Gates met with Epstein primarily for charitable reasons, having repeatedly failed to move Mr. Gates away from these issues. Epstein attempted unsuccessfully to use a former relationship to scare Mr. Gates, a spokeswoman for Gates said in a statement obtained by People. In a September 2021 interview with PBS Newshore's Judy Woodruff, Gates was asked about his contact with Epstein, who was discovered dead in his jail cell on August 10. 2019, while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in New York City. At the time of the interview, Gates was asked about a meeting he had with Epstein a decade before, when the former financier had already been convicted of sex offenses. I had dinners with him, which I regret, Gates told Woodruff. He had ties with people he said would give to global health, which is an interest of mine, and much too little philanthropy goes in that regard. Those meetings were a mistake. They did not produce the desired results, and I terminated them. That was a long time ago, so there's nothing new there. When asked about continuing meetings with Epstein, Gates expressed guilt for having the dinners and cited his charity work once more. French Gates spoke with CBS News' Gayle King about her connection with Gates and Gates' friendship with Epstein. In March 2022, following her divorce from Gates the previous August after a 27-year union. When asked about his personal or commercial contact with Epstein, French Gates stated that it was not one thing but many things that led to the divorce, adding that I did not like that he had meetings with Jeffrey Epstein. I also met Jeffrey Epstein only once since I was curious about who he was. I regretted it the moment I walked in the door, 
he was repulsive, evil personified. After that, I had nightmares about it. My heart goes out to those young women. When questioned if her emotions were shared with Gates, French Gates said her ex-husband would have to answer those questions for himself, adding, I made it very obvious how I felt about Ab Epstein. Sources told People in May 2023 that the Gates-Epstein relationship was a sore spot in Bill and Melinda's marriage. Following the recent release of the Jeffrey Epstein list, an old video of Bill Gates' former wife, Melinda, has gone viral in which she is heard suggesting that her ex-involvement husbands with the renowned podophile was part of the cause for their divorce. Hundreds of pages of records from an Epstein-related litigation have been made public, including names like Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Michael Jackson. Following the recent release of the Jeffrey Epstein list, an old video of Bill Gates' former wife, Melinda, has gone viral in which she is heard suggesting that her ex-involvement husbands with the renowned pedophile was part of the cause for their divorce. Was Bill Gates connected to Jeffrey Epstein? According to a statement obtained previously by People, Gates met with Epstein solely for humanitarian objectives. The Gates Foundation spokesperson claimed in an email to the Hindustan Times that he had not visited Jeffrey's island. More than a dozen people familiar with the arrangement said Gates met with Epstein on several times beginning in 2011. The same was disclosed in documents obtained by the New York Times. Gates had at least three meetings with Epstein at the convicted sex offender's Manhattan residence. At least once, he stayed late into the night. It was also disclosed that workers of Gates's organization met with Epstein multiple times at his residence. According to the Wall Street Journal, Epstein threatened Gates, stating he would expose him for allegedly having an affair with Russian bridge player Myla Antonova. Gates was married to Melinda at the time. Before Epstein threatened Gates, the latter had reportedly refused to participate in a non-profit fund that never bore fruit. Epstein apparently threatened Gates that if he did not continue to associate with him, he would reveal his relationship with Mila. During an interview with Australia's ABC 730, Gates later said that he shouldn't have had dinners with him. What did Melinda have to say? In a recently released video, Melinda stated in an interview with CBS Mornings that there was no single cause for her and Gates' divorce, but that she realized their relationship was not healthy and that she couldn't trust what we had. That's all for today's video. In the video, Melinda said that she did not like that he had meetings with Jeffrey Epstein. I made that obvious to him, she said, calling Epstein evil personified. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.